welcome to another episode of the Moore Center Community Spotlight. I'm your host, Teresa Dinesi. Today, I'm thrilled to welcome one of our board members, Heidi Copeland. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. Thank you. So nice to have you. So you're the publisher of Business New Hampshire Magazine. Yes. Tell me about that job. It's a full job. So we do it all with a small staff. We're a mighty a small band making mighty music, but um, it's great. We cover business news in New Hampshire, and I love my job. How long have you been doing that? I have been in New Hampshire, I think, for 12 years. Mm -hmm. So you've seen a lot of changes in the business community, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a board member, and we're very appreciative to have you sitting around that table at the helm. Um, How did board service sort of find you, or what was it about the Moore Center that sort of kind of captivated your attention. We had actually hired Paul Boynton to be a speaker at an event that we were doing. Our president and, and CEO, yes, Paul. Yes, yeah. and Paul is a great speaker. And we, we, he came and spoke, and then I just really took to him, and we started having lunches and got to know him. And then he called me up and said he had a favor to ask, and would I sit on the board? And I said, well, you're going to have to tell me a lot more about your organization. But he did, and I I fell in love with the mission. The rest, as they say, is history. Right. Yeah. Um, so you're also very active in one of the committees of the Moore Center, the HR, or Human Resources Committee. Um, could you talk a little bit about what that committee does and sort of their responsibilities and sort of their direction? So it's funny. Business New Hampshire Magazine hosts the best companies to work for in New Hampshire. And certainly the Moore Center has never tried to win, but they certainly could win that competition. They do a lot of things to bring on the best people, to keep them motivated and to keep them excited. And like most New Hampshire businesses, they're struggling to find direct service providers. So they come up with really innovative ways to bring on new people. Mm -hmm. So those, those direct support professionals, the DSPs are the ones that sort of work kind of in tandem with the men and women the Moore Center supports, those folks with developmental disabilities. And so there is, certainly with the, the shortage of workforce, you know, out there across all industries, it's such an important concept. Yeah. What kind of people are a part of that committee besides yourself? Are That's there? a good question. Okay. <laughs> um, it is a lot of Moore Center staff. Sure. It is a lot of Moore Center staff, and they're Chris Sharp from Cross Insurance. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a myriad of different and folks. And I'm drawing a blank. That's okay. <laughs> Great. But one of the things, so even in hiring, having a hard time hiring and finding that a lot of the people that were applying for the job had... Uh, you know, didn't speak English as their primary Mm -hmm. language, and that's a hurdle. So they actually developed an ESL program to get those people an eight-week program to improve their language skills so they could then apply at the end of the eight weeks. And then if you weren't quite ready with your English skills, Mm -hmm. they'd give you kind of a second go at a second class. Wonderful. So... To, so just thinking really creatively about sure. who wants the jobs and how can they make the job a fit for that person. It's wonderful. They have so much support systems in place yeah. for those folks, too. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. What do you think is so special, Heidi, as you reflect on sort of your board participation about the Moore Center? What What is it that sort of makes it stand out in the community, do you think? Yeah. Well, they always say don't make things personal, but I have a brother with developmental disabilities, and so it's very meaningful to me that there are people out there that are so caring and concerned and kind. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's so many opportunities for people to be with disabilities to be taken advantage of, and it's, it's very special to me personally. Wonderful. that there are people doing great things. It certainly seems yeah. the people, the employees and staff that I've talked with feel very passionate yeah. about what they do at the Moore Center. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, Heidi Copeland, thank yeah, you so much for joining you, us today. And thank you for all that you do with, with your board service. We do appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. I'm Teresa Dinesi. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. The Moore Center is a nonprofit statewide organization with a legacy of serving others for over 60 years. We provide compassionate, high quality, cost effective services to people of all ages, from early intervention services for children, to programs and services for adults with developmental disabilities, to home care services for seniors wishing to remain independent in their own homes. We also provide training for the human services workforce. 
To learn more about this award-winning nonprofit organization and its rich history of creating opportunities for a good life, please visit us at morecenter.org.